Welcome to Bamana History and Culture, and thank you for tuning in. In this video, I would like to shed some light on our benevolent ancestor, a freedom fighter, a revolutionary, a prophet, and a king in his own right. His name was Mackendall. It is said that Mackendall was born in Africa and taken from his home at the young age of 12. I believe that Mackendall being born in Africa and spending his first 12 years of life there probably played a big part in his rebelliousness leading up to his later years, assuming he remembered his land, his people, and traditional customs. It is also said that Mackendall claimed to be a follower of Islam. When Mackendall was brought to the island of Haiti, he was forced on a sugar plantation until his arm was caught in a sugar mill and had to be amputated. Unable to work in the sugar cane fields, Mackendall was moved to caring for the livestock. It was during this time that Mackendall began planning his escape from bondage. When he escaped from the plantation, he fled into forested hills, coming into contact with groups of other escaped Africans known as Maroons. These Africans built makeshift communities and organized revolts against white plantation owners. Mackendall quickly became a primary leader of the Maroons. Mackendall's ability to organize along with his knowledge of herbal concoctions were regarded by many Aitians to be mystical. Mackendall taught workers on plantations this knowledge, which would in turn create networks of communication between Maroons and plantation workers. This underground union helped Africans revolutionize themselves both within the system and outside of it. Mackendall was known for poisoning white and black collaborators alike. He killed over 6,000 white Frenchmen by organizing plantation workers, mainly women, to poison whites via food. The plan was to get the French out of the Haiti. Mackendall was known as one of the first figures, if not the first figure, of the Haitian Revolution.